So today is Tuesday, October 10th, 2023, match number 186. Today I'm doing Larry Zabisco versus Bret Hart in Hell in a Cell on WWE 2K16. Going back again here a few years to 16. So lately, Larry Zabisco was an in game character in uh, WWE 2K16, which is very cool. It's great to go back and just. Look at look at the, oh I forgot it. you go oh he, he's in the game I forgot he was in the game and it's just, just some great wrestlers that were in game that were that aren't in 23 but you you can still go back if you have them and go back and play as them and that's, that's, I got them on my PS5 hard drive so I can just go back through the years and remember who was in there it's cool they got like some good tag 16 has good tag teams I had Heart Foundation Natural Disasters the Bushwhackers the Harlem Heat um, forget who else they had in there, but yeah, they had, they had pretty good, some good tag teams in in there. That's one team they never put. I'd love to see the the, the killer bees in in uh, in in game instead of having to use created. The killer bees, the rockers, and the British bulldogs. Are, I'd like to see Heart Foundation's in there every year. I think since since sixteen, I think they always got Jim Neidhart and uh, Bret Hart in there. It's like a Brett, Brett and uh, Larry Zabisco. Larry Zabisco famous feud with uh, Bruno Sammartino in uh, what was it late 70s, early 80s, around around 1980, I guess they were feuding. I guess towards the end of Bruno's career, they they had they feuded. Uh, Bruno, who was who was uh, re returned in 2K23, I think he was in 2K14 and then was not in it again until he returned in 23. It was cool to see Bruno back in there. They gotta get the superstar Billy Graham, Graham in the game too. That's to be cool. And Bob Backlund, some of those guys. Love to see just a have a have a, like a the game have a section for each decade. Wrestlers in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and 90s, just to, and just have a have, have like I don't know 20 wrestlers from each decade or something like that. But I know there's a yeah there's a, there's a there's all kinds of legal stuff. It's hard to hard to get all the legal stuff to get them. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. But all kinds of, I guess, copyright issues and stuff to get all the wrestlers in the game and working out deals and stuff. So it's so it's actually it's been impressive how many guys they get in the game. And now he's just beating Bret Hart with a bat. That's not nice. But it's it's hell in a cell. So the sledgehammer down at the ringside there. Said Bret Hart, Larry Zabisco. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know if these this ever match ever happened. I don't. I don't think it did. I don't know. I could could be wrong, but it's happening now on the video game. It's the best thing about these video games. You can create matches that would have never happened. This is yeah. This is the uh, this is the 2K where they had the Terminator in it. The Arnold Schwarzenegger. They should. Uh, since they did that, they should have a, put a Rambo in one of the games. Like this year, the 2K23, they got Zeus from the No Holds Barred movie in there. Uh, so this is going to be a big, big move here. Here we go. Big move. Boom. That was nice. That, that doesn't feel good. Let's see if he gets him with that. He shouldn't kick out of that, but he, let's see if he does. But that, no, he kicked out. That's... That should be a finishing move. That's a that's a de devastating move there. You do that, smash should be over. You got a bat still in the ring. Oh, he's beating on him. He's beating on him like demolition would. Just boom. That's a thing. That's what I like to see demolition in a 2K game. Axe smash and crush. I've, I've had to create a demolition in my uh, channel, but people are, you might forget Crush because the uh, Axe of Smash was the people think Demolition like Axe of Smash but they, they they had a third member Crush briefly for a uh, little after I got I guess they were Axe of Smash for a few years and they, I forget when they added Crush but I know there was a Survivor Series match with a it was uh, one of my favorite Survivor Series matches I think I've talked about it before on here but it was Mr. Perfect with Axe Smash and Crush Against the Ultimate Warrior, the Road Warriors, Hawk and Animal, and uh, the 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 modern day Warrior, Texas Tornado, Kerry Von Erich. It was like all Warrior 
people a uh, name people with warrior in their names against the demolition of Mr. Perfect. If they, if they had if they had a fourth member of demolition, that would have been it would have been cool. But they only have three. Oh, it's got to count. Got to kick out. So yeah, Larry Zabisco. He, yeah, he called uh, he called Nitro for a number of years. Uh, Larry Zabisco became a good good commentator. Let's see, he's dragging Brad. Oh, he's gonna put him. Oh, he grabbed. Yeah, was, he dragged him towards the ropes instead of away to get the count. That was odd. He didn't usually drag him to the center so he can get up so the guy can't touch the ropes on huh? count. I don't know if there's a rope break in here. I think it's a hell in a cell match. I couldn't. You can't set the rules on here because it's a 2K16. Didn't have to create a match yet. I forget what year that started. Boom, oh, Brad, what a nice uh, jawbreaker there. Let's see if we would, uh, see if Brett can come back. Larry Zabisco is winning this match. Got another cover. Let's see if they clump. No, oh, he kicked out. That was close. Let's see if they can get outside the cell and uh, get on the roof and everything. Brett's going to do a suplex here, looks like. Yep, nice. Here comes Brett. Let's see if he makes a comeback here and gets the win. A nice knee. Uh, that, uh, see the technique on that knee to the back? That was fascinating. What technique? Brett's going to put him on. Is he going to suplex him now? Let's see what he... Cause Larry Zabisco did it to him earlier. Yeah, he's going to get him in back. See, that's it. Here we go. This, this, that looks awesome. This guy's. I looked at this game's still great. I mean, all these 2K games I still enjoy. Who kicked out? Go back here. Still look good. I said you can see uh, if you play this and you go to 2K23, you can definitely see the graphical difference improvements. But it's just uh, still a fun game to play here. Even though even though community creation is shut off and everything, I like like to. I play. I like. To, I still play all all these games. It's a. Way I wish I, uh, I. I wish I kept my PlayStation 3 so I could play 2K14. I wish they'd let us go back and get 2K14 on the, on the PS5. But you can't do it because you know, 2K14 had Bruno in it and stuff, and that was the first one with Ultimate Warrior. That was the first 2K game actually. Oh, got to count because it was. It was a. Uh, before 2K took it, it was uh, I forget who THQ had it or something. I forget. And then it was it was W it was called WWE 12 and WWE 13. And then then the 2K took over and it became WWE 2K 14. For those who don't who don't uh, know the, the history of the the line here. And then before I guess it was SmackDown vs Raw before that. I'm trying to remember myself now. Two just kicked out again. It was a good match. Larry's Bisco and Bret Hart. Let's see if uh Yeah, Zabisco is beating on Brett and then uh, Brett's beating on Zabisco back and a good good back and forth. Keeps it interesting. This is great, you just set up a set up your own WrestleMania. You can you can set up like a dream WrestleMania card and I mean, there's not a mode in the game, but you can just do it yourself, just with the, with the exhibition mode. Just, like, write up a, a dream card and then get all the wrestlers you need together and then ha have it, get, like, ten matches together and have a, make your own WrestleMania. There's so much you can do with these WWE 2K games. It's, it's just like, you know, it's like you have a, they give you a, a blank piece of paper and you can write, you can create whatever you want. Make it in a... Make it into a WWF 80s game, a WCW 90s game, a ECW in the 90s, whatever, whatever you want. A to AW, modern AEW today. Or you can you go back to the go to 1955 and get a roster, make a roster from them if you want. If you there's no no uh, no limits what you can do with the uh, WWE 2K. Got a two count. Nope, Bret Hart kicks out again. It's a good match. I see some of these matches last longer. It's kind of just random. Let's see, Brett. Or maybe the anvil will come out and help him. No. 
No, I have. I, have, I think I, yeah, I've run in so often. I only I turn them. I usually have them off. Sometimes I put the run-ins on if I feel like doing that. But I like a lot of times. I just want to see a, a a clean win. All right, what's he gonna? What's he doing? All right, now I thought he's gonna do a figure four. So uh, I hope you're enjoying this match. This is a good match. Another kick out by Bret Hart. Yeah, they've, they're keeping it in the ring for the most part. They're, they're, they can go out and go climb the cell and everything, but they're not. They're not. They're just keeping it in the ring. I could have just made this a regular normal match, because that's practically what it is. Got a sleeper hold here. See if he gets Brett. No, nope, he's gonna cover him now. Let's see if he kicks out of that. No, nope, he kicked out again. That's a good match. It's crazy how some matches, the same match could be two minutes and then do it again, it's 20 minutes. Or do, do a re, in a rematch. You never know what you're going to get, which is which is a good thing. He's going for a finisher, I could see him. All right, oh, sleeper hold again here. here we go. See if Brett gets out of it this time. No, nope, yeah, he just gets, yeah, gets it done. This is one of the better matches I've had here on, the, on my channel. This is... If you're into just good wrestling, this, this match has been very good. Of course, not surprising with Bret Hart in there, who's, a, who's a, one of the best uh, at just pure wrestling. There we go. Oh, is he going to do his... Yeah, he's doing his... Move. I remember he used to do this... Hang him off the turnbuckle. They had like, like a figure four on the turnbuckle. Just to make it... On the, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the post. To make it... Uh, I guess it make it more painful. All right, now we're outside here. See if we get the uh, get him outside to get him on the cell. Nope, they're going back in the ring. Yeah, they're not really utilizing the cell in this match. I could have just made this a normal match. It, would have, it wouldn't have been much different. All right, working the arm over. Let's see if uh, that's the, the, the that's a lost art in pro wrestling. We're working over a body part and then putting the finisher on it and getting the win. They used to just to do that all the time. They don't do that anymore. Where they just work on the knee, and then the guy's limping around the ring, and gets a figure four on him, and gets the win. All right, let's see what what will Brett's going for a cover. Let's see if he gets him now. Yeah, kicks out again. A lot of kick, a lot of a lot of near falls. This is a good match. I like I like a lot of near falls. Keeps it keeps it interesting. All right, we got a pile driver. Coco Beware sings it. He's just, he's bleeding now. Bret Hart's going to the top rope. Let's see what's he going to do now. Elbow drop. Oh, yeah, elbow drop right to... Uh, look like the head head area hit. And it's the, the name of the, the pile driver song. Coco Beware used to sing. If you remember the, uh, the, old, the two wrestling albums they made. I believe in the wrestling album one was 1985 and number two was 1987, I believe. There, they were there actually. I actually I enjoyed those. I think you can probably watch, uh, listen to them. All those songs are on YouTube, I think. For the, for those who want to go back and hear them, if you don't have the albums. I oh, got a chin lock. This is this is some match going on. I like I like longer matches at times because it just get it builds the tension to who's gonna win, who's gonna win. All right, Brett's gonna do a nice suplex. He needs to get that sharpshooter on there. Try to uh, beat beat Zabisco. Zabisco Nabisco Nabisco Zabisco. Uh, makes me Zabisco. It sounds like the, the company Nabisco makes me want some some graham crackers. What do you like on your graham crackers? I love graham crackers. I like to put peanut butter on graham crackers. Maybe that's what to do after this match. We're gonna go get some graham crackers and have some peanut butter. You can put some peanut butter and jelly on a graham cracker. Graham crackers. 
I like the squish and graham crackers over on my ice cream. That's good too. Adds a crunch to it. Another kick out. It's always fun to take a graham cracker and squish it up over like a vanilla ice cream. Make it like a, a crunchy, uh, ice creamy, crunchy, crunchy. Oh, another snail macaroni. Another sleeper. Let's see if he gets him this time. Nope. Didn't get him. I'm going to try to get a pin. This match has become uh, something. Nope, kicked out again. Wow. This, yeah, you know, you never know when you're gonna get a match like this where it just, it just, go, it ends up being long. You don't expect it to go long, and it just keeps going. It's, it's, you get a, it happens uh, here and there. No, nope, kicked out again. I don't know how many kickouts that is. It's good match though. Makes for a good match though. Yeah, just you, you see, you have ten matches. There's always, there's gonna be a few of them that like just like run long, like like this one. I mean, some of them sometimes they go too quick and. But this is one of those games at 2K, you know, you never know when you get them, but, uh... Dude, it's, uh, I like this, this is good. Because you, 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 you just get so you don't know who's going to win, and it's, it's, it's like you're watching a real wrestling match at, at a, on a, on TV, because it's just, because it, the, uh, the game is so good, it's just, uh... You actually get into it, like, like you're watching... Uh, SummerSlam or something. I'm watching a match on a WrestleMania or something. You get into it. Another suplex off the top here. Look at the way he, he drags him towards the ropes. And cause it's kind of weird. Oh no, no, that made sense. Now he's, he's doing the the dirty pin. And he got him with it. All right, Larry Bisco beats Bret Hart in a nice match. Hope you enjoyed that. Farewell.